but now what I want to do is I pretty much queried my database and selected all the messages that I have not yet read however I didn't do anything with it nothing's popping up on the screen yet so what I want to do I actually want to store the number of messages that I have not read yet or new messages in a variable called num now in e in order to get the number of the result set you need to use a function called my sql underscore num underscore rows what this is going to do is it's a function where we need to pass it in pretty much a my sql query which oh look at that we have one right here we pass it in a result set it pretty much counts the number of rows from this result set or this query and it stores it in a variable called num so if this query returned five different rows then this is going to be equal to five make sense so now what we need to do is we need to test if this is equal to zero or if we have more than zero new messages so if num is exactly equal to zero then that means we don't have any new messages we read all the messages so in this case all we need to do is echo out a href equals messages and I know I didn't uh, create this page yet but inbox that's the uh, link to your inbox dot PHP now I'm just gonna go ahead and write messages and end that link right there but not before adding a pipe sign so if we don't have any new messages then just go ahead and make a plain old let me just go ahead and show you guys real quick Bucky if we don't have any new messages like in this instance it's just going to give us a plain old link to our messages page where we can click on and it could take us right there however if number is not equal to zero then it must be greater than zero else let's go ahead and this is the code where we must have a new message so whenever we do have a new message the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and bold the word messages so I'm actually gonna go ahead and steal okay I'm getting ahead of myself right now I first want to go ahead and um well let me go ahead and do this this might be a little bit easier I wanna start with that core messages link now what we need to do is we're gonna actually add some variables in here so make sure to escape all your double quotation marks now the first thing I wanna do if I received new messages is I wanna bold this by changing the class equal to usernames now I know the usernames class is um, specifically built for usernames well what it does is it basically bolds any link so now this link right here if we go ahead and end this span is going to be bolded now aside from this another thing that we want to do is right after messages we want to put parentheses in here and we want to put the number of new messages so if we received five new messages then it's going to say messages in bold and it's going to say five in quotation marks now whenever you read a message the status is going to change to red so you only have four unread messages so then it's going to say messages four in parentheses now of course the only other thing that we need to do after this is we need to add that little pipe sign right there which is this little pipe sign right here and then we code the rest of the links so basically the only link that's going to be dynamic or changing is this messages link. the rest is really easy so after this else right here one second someone's at my door all right just a freaking UPS guy all right so we already created that messages link which is going to change depending on whether they have new messages or not so now all we need to do is we need to add the other plain three links add item my count and log out so we only want to show these links if the user is logged in so this is the code in here which is the user logged in then this is the code we want to output all of this code right here is for the messages so where we want to put these other three links is right here outside the messages else clause but inside the code where they must be logged in so in order to do this go ahead and just put an echo single quotation marks now the first link is add item and let me just surround this with a little 
a href equals and let's name this page add item dot php and of course eventually we're going to need to create all these pages and after this let me just go ahead and put a little pipe sign and I actually can cheat a little bit if I want to so the first is to add an item the second one is to my account and we'll name this page account.php and the last thing that we need to do is add one more link I forgot if I copied anything copy and paste that shiz now the last link is a log out link and this script is the easiest script to make I can't wait till I teach you guys this log out so now if we go ahead and save this code we see that our top right links are going to be one of two things if the user is not yet logged in then they get two options register or logged in if they are logged in then the first link it shows is whether they have any new messages or not if they don't have any new messages it just gives you your default link if they do have new messages it gives you that cool blue link but either way it puts the messages link out there and it also gives you your three other default links whenever you are logged into your account so there you go I'm gonna go ahead and test this and I probably messed up something in the meantime um, go ahead grab something from Burger King or McDonald's somewhere unhealthy and I'll uh, talk to you in the next video